Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to import a 65 square kilometer landscape, a tiled landscape from World Machine to Unreal Engine with uh, different uh, landscape material layers. So as you can see, this is the current imported landscape with tiled land as a tiled landscape from world machine. And this is the scale of the world that we can get. And as you can see, this is our character and this is the world. So it's pretty big. So right. And also we have used that uh, previously created material. So we it already have this grasses and everything and also we can we already have this dynamic time of day system in place as well. Right, so let's get started. Okay. I'll put this aside. So this is our current project. I'll first uh, create a new project new map like this and so this is what I am going to use as the to import the tiled landscape but for before that I have to create a new world machine file to create the export the landscape so this is an empty project in world machine and I will to begin with I'll add a, so if you want to know about this this is world machine with 3 3016 if that matters okay so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an advanced Perlin node like this and so as you can see here we already got some output of this advanced pearly material I will set the terrain color to woodlands and mountains and so like this so it's a nice view and also so I am going to set this up for tiled landscape to work with that, I have to set up few parameters. So in this tiled build and build option, I'll set this one to 1017. So these are the settings that is appropriate to work with Unreal Engine. And so I will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 sections of the landscape right that's all and uh, as for this advanced perlin I'll set the middle elevation to something like 2000 because I didn't don't need a much higher landscape also I can randomize this with this button like this right and I'll leave this I'll set this one to Steven's choice and Okay, this one looks better for me. Right. That's all for this. And now actually I'll reduce this is to something like somewhere like this. So we got some mountains and if you click here 
we can get a better view but as you can see this uh, mountains are pretty steep which is not a good thing because the character would not be able to walk on those uh, high angled areas but we can fix it later right the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a natural filter called erosion oh, where is it here this one erosion so for the primary output field I'll plug this one and I'll go here for a better view right and open erosion settings I'll set this one to simple filter and a channel erosion and let's try changing some of those values okay actually anything would do for now okay I'll save it and then I'll add a terrace so this is in also in this one so we can get some terraces in our landscape I'll go here for a better view again and open terrace settings I'll use this simple terrace okay Let's change this to sharp, right? And this to something like this, okay? And I'll keep layering to do right. So, this is the word I got, but still, I feel like this is too much steep, so I'll. Try adjusting these values. Okay, that's not good. Okay, this one looks better. Right. Okay, that's enough for now. The next thing is we have to now we have this uh, landscape created so how do we export height maps and weight maps uh, to be imported into unreal to do that I need this output and first I will create this height output and I'll plug this as the primary output so uh, this I'll export it as row 16 and I'll set the destination to here and tile landscape now I'll create a new folder called tiled landscape 2 okay and I'll set this right and the next thing is so we have already created 
uh, three layers in our landscape material as for the, the steep angled layer and the mid angled layer or mid slope or the flat and the flat slope so it's like a soil layer and a rock surface and a grass surface right so similarly i'll create the i'll select those two types of angles those uh, three types of angles here like this i have to take a select and select slope i need three and as the primary input i will plug the primary height field of this one and for the first one i'll this is our low angle so i'll keep it like um, like this uh, something like 40 degrees to 0 degrees to 40 degrees right and the next thing is middle angle so I'll start it from 40 degrees to something like 75 degrees uh, right this first set fall of the exponential and this one from 75 degrees to 90 degrees so this is going to be the rock surface all right and for this one also we need outputs to write them into play uh, files okay right one here and I'll name this one I'll write them as PNG files and I'll name this one as uh, which one did I select okay hi and go right this one as select as PNG and mid and go this one as low and okay now what I have to do is so this is our final output and this is in the world view so this section is what we are going to sample and export right so using this button I can build these build and export these uh, weight maps and height maps so let's wait until wait until these maps are built still building uh, okay, actually, I'll cancel this and I'll use previously built tiles to show the process. So, you know how to export and build tiles in World Machine now. So, let's get back to Unreal. Okay, so here, first thing we have to do is we have to enable this world composition. Oh, I have to save this map before enabling that so I'll make a new folder and name it tile landscape okay inside that I'll call it map1 now I can enable this right now I'll create import this landscapes uh, exported height maps I just created they should be in very decile there eh? 
okay here right I'll go to that folder or this one this one okay so these are the files we just generated and these are the height map files as this R16 files I'll import them and I'll set the scale to 200 and 400 so that uh, when I set this X and Y to 200 I get this 8 by 8 landscape and so because I tested these values and they works better so I selected this one so I'll select the in my landscape the landscape material instance we have already created in previous episodes and as for the layer 1 weight maps I'll select this all of these high angle weight maps and for the layer 2 I select uh, these mid angle weight maps and for the layer 3 I'll select this low angle weight maps right and I haven't created any more layers for no grass layer and auto layer so I'll go ahead and import okay I get this because I haven't assigned any material any weight maps to no grass layer okay it's imported I'll load this now yeah you can see here these newly created sections of landscape or sub levels I'll import load them now right so we got this massive landscape now and you can see this grid like textures grid like pattern because we haven't built our lighting but we can avoid that by setting these lights to movable right so our landscape is now successfully imported I'll just uh, okay so I'll play so we can make our character run around in the world so as you can see this character compared to the character world is huge so if I zoom out from the character it is like this and we don't see actually even a half of the landscape now okay we already lost our character right and So this is the world we just created and that's all for today and the next episode I'll show you how to automatically spawn trees based on logics like the landscape slope and the height with uh, procedural foliage volumes and See you in the next video. Goodbye.